Hi, Sagittarius. I hope that you're doing absolutely fabulous. Thanks for joining for your um, Aquarian season reading. If you're returning back, welcome back. If you are brand spanking new, welcome. My channel is very intense, and these readings this time around are very intense, okay? Um, I get a lot of criminal act type stuff on my channel if you are new. I hit energies both ways. I'm, I'm just very spiritual. I'm not churchy or religious, but it could come across real heavy that way towards you because I do prove that the scripture in the name of Jehovah Elohim, who is Yeshua, our prophecy is found in the tarot. There's a couple videos down below if you would like to, to view those. <clears throat> Feel free to. Otherwise, if that's not something that you're looking for, then this is where you're going to click off. Thanks for checking me out. Okay? Um, people, there's just a lot of stuff going on. I've been saying this on the videos because it just keeps going on. There's big time judgment coming to a group of people and it's a long time coming. And I say great. Okay, so I hope you're being found in the upright. Like I said, I hit energies both ways. And, um, so if you're in the negative and you need to fix something, please do. Okay, some people are seared. They can't. They've gone past the line and they need to be taken out of society. Okay. Some people's got a kook around them um, that's got a mental disease and they need to be taken out of society and go into to some type of mental ward or prison or something like that, okay, because there's been some children that's gotten hurt in a really bad way, okay. I might um, be referring to energy in the, in the natural or just something spiritual, but it might just be emotional for you, so just take the energies any way that they are um, expressing itself in your situation. Okay, Sagittarius, let's get on it and see what you'll have elegant wants to bring out here I thank you Jehovah I inquire your hand in your hand alone Jehovah rebuke and bind and block every foul demonic wicked dark energy witchcraft warlock familiar spirit anything that can be related in the such we have we do have somebody going to jail okay and we do have somebody who's mental like I said the eight of swords is an incarceration card and it's come out several times, and, and, you know, I'm using a couple different decks. There, there is going to be prisons that's come out in wording. It's came out in about, uh, court trial stuff. It came out in, you know, the tarot itself. Somebody's going to go to jail. If somebody's freaking mental that kept coming out over and over because what something happened to their child, or they seen something, or they did something to their child, or there's, there's, some, there's some, or they did something to somebody else's child. You know, uh, male or female, young or old, I don't care what it was, somebody done some stuff now and, and, and got involved in whatever the stuff is. For some people, they're jail worthy, there's shame somewhere, okay? Somebody is um, trapped up in their mind, okay, within some stuff. There's um, home situations going on for some of you all. If something happened around this four of, of uh, wands, that's a 11-11. That 11 is knowing something, which is the house that we're in where the sun's at right now for these readings. And uh, the 11 is also uh, justice. And so you're dealing with, uh, you know, law is here. Okay, something happened around celebration? Then it did. Uh, or somebody's finally going to, you know, get justice. Then they're going to be able to get out of their head because of what something's happened uh, with in your situation. And they're going to be able to celebrate. Okay, so read it both ways. So we do have the um, Ein coming out here. This is the tower. This is the letter Ein in the Hebrew. And uh, it represents the eyeball. That's why a lot of times you'll see an eyeball over the top of the tower. It's known things. It's eyewitnesses. It's sexual things for some people. It's a paradigm shift just like that. It's a freaking disaster type of energy as well. And it also showed up in Gemini reading. And uh, we've got Gemini Libra Aquarius here. Your energy is here, and this is Aquarian energy where the sun's at, so it could be anybody, but there is something that's just like, my God, and it's a significant life event that's taking place here. Right, somebody is jail worthy. There's a hanging man. I'm just going to show it because, well, I'm just going to take four cards anyway. This, um, the, the, that, that's a jail card. It's psychedelic kind of stuff. That's a confusion card. Oh, my God, I'm turned upside down. What do I do? Because somebody's standing in the rubble of some type of truth. That's been just a, a paradigm shift of something that's taken place or something that's happened with sexual matters. It's caused somebody to get flipped upside down and they're jail worthy with that, with children as well. All kinds of energies coming out here. So this is also backwards organization um, with the hangman. You could be from um, Alabama. Okay, we have um, 
the L and the A, or the A and the L. You could be from Louisiana. You could be from L.A., California, uh, something like that. I don't have to. But something's known. This energy with the tower would go back to um, things that are known, internet why, you know, or it just it, intelligence is here with this energy. Um, somebody's got high volume understanding that something's going on and it's made them go crazy because of because of it, people. It, it just is. Okay? It's something for most of you all to a place of some type of celebration or something like that. Things things have gotten out of hand and somebody's just been looking from all perspectives and um, well they just somebody's just in a mess. They're just in a freaking mess trying to figure something out. Show me energies for Sagittarius. Show me energies, please, Jehovah, for Sagittarius. Some people have been in jail in, in their own home uh, for a lot of, you know, reasons with the world is going through with the pandemic. But some people have been there, put there on purpose because of some criminal act that happened with, before the pandemic ever happened. Uh, and it's known about <clears throat> in a very big way. There is secret exchanging here. There is the infinity sign that could be physically secret exchanging going on. If that's FBI, then it is. There is law around some stuff. I mean, this is jail. Are you dealing with somebody who works for a prison cell or, or law or you're the law or whatever the crap this is? If something is foolish, there's the fool. And so some, somebody is foolish, people. There's a decision that needs to be made. Possibly been going back and forth, back and forth, trying to get balance within something. So let me, show me Sagittarius energy. <clears throat> show me Sagittarius energy. Yeah, somebody is going to get the law over their head. The scales are here. And this card also came out in a couple different readings as well. This is generosity card. And... Um, and somebody also was paid off to do something as well that 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 was connected to a murder. Eighth house, I'll go back to death energies. Eighth house's energy is there with the eight of swords. <clears throat> Again, legal things are really big in these readings. It's work. Eight pentacles is here. Something to do with your work or somebody else what they worked on. Work. Okay, 88 is here. That also goes back to 16, which is the higher can of the tower. It's here. So there's a lot of pentacles here involved. Some, we got Pisces energy here, and I just keep bringing it out because it, there was freaking money everywhere. Okay, because somebody's a little uh, something there with that energy. And um, it's known. It is known. There's a group that knows about it, and this whole group's going to be uh, sitting in jail cell for what they did to somebody. <clears throat> They're, they're, some of them are involved in child sacrificing, and it's disgusting. There's the strife that just came out in the um, Libra reading, I believe. And there's the charge. Somebody's just stupid, crazy all the time. And they just, oh, my God, because they're mental. You're dealing with a mental person. And a stubborn witchcraft. And people just holding on, holding on. No, I'm stubborn. I, somebody was stubborn and wording and kicking and stuff like that. I think it was in the Scorpio reading. And um, leaving troubled waters behind that also came out in the Scorpio reading. We had energies of tar and, you know, fixing the boat and something like that. Somebody, somebody's decaying by water and it's what's come out in the um, Scorpio reading. So somebody did something on a boat. This is, you know, leaving stormy waters behind. This is stormy water. Well, there's secrets here. There's a high priestess there. Uh, and that's also, you know, that's... Um, a patriarch of a family type of energy if we want to take back to the Hebrew the high priestess has high volume understanding okay that, that also goes back to deep past stuff as well um, could be older people so um, the father is here Abba the, the wording uh, Abba is here um, just just in the phonics it's being shown here and that's father in the Hebrew um, 
we have the heart. Something about somebody's heart is here. The the love. There's an issue. There's really bad issues in somebody's heart. Uh, we have the Queen of Cups coming out. And this is a very manipulative uh, person in the negative. In the upright, this is somebody who will heal something. They're very intelligent. They're sweet. They're kind. And some somebody's done something here that though that has been manipulative. They've just been hanging on and something's very intelligent, but at the same time somebody's still with somebody's lost their love and freaking mind within some type of situation. Because I mean somebody's just like charged all the time. Something's fast moving with this energy coming out here. I'm gonna take from I'm just beside myself. I'm ready for some things to be um, taken care of. I was really having a hard time with the energy in the uh, Scorpio reading. I'm feeling like there's a little bit of a wall here. Um, something's been magnified. Well, we got, first of all, we have the hanging man. And uh, this is a rope energy here that's attached to something. Okay, somebody was, for some of you all, I think I started to say it, maybe I got sidetracked. Somebody was tied up in their feet. For a lot of you all, something happened with uh, a person decaying by water, or thrown in the water to drown, or something like that on purpose. Okay, on purpose for something that's taken place here, for sacrificing things, or, or somebody also, for some of you all are dealing with people who are literally hanging people up and sacrificing them, maybe cutting their heart out or something like that. I hate to be so dramatic, people, but we did have wordings in the, in the um, Aquarian reading, and it came out, I think, in the Pisces reading that there was a, or maybe it was a Taurus reading, there was a, there was a knife there, somebody thrust through, somebody murdered somebody, okay, and for a lot of you, it was children involved in some type of situation. So, this goes back to authority and elders, we had the lilies come out, and that also represents elders and sex and things like that, so nasty things have taken place. It's also about somebody's dignity, well, <clears throat> So someone who likes skulls is here. And so there's some type of connection to you that somebody that likes skulls. Now the Queen of Swords was in the Scorpio reading and she was holding a head. Okay. Uh, maybe you just like skulls or some, but some, someone who likes skulls or something like that. Or, or maybe have tattoos of them or you just like them or something like that. That just came out. So there's some type of connection here with your energy with that. We have... Um, to pluck feathers or to take something by force or plucking something away or doing something by violence. And we did have violent energy that was coming out. Somebody uh, was hostile. Somebody's crazy. Somebody's just freaking crazy. Um, a witch that performs spells on people. Well, look, people, this is stubbornness. is as a sin of witchcraft. So just even if you don't do spells on people, you are if you're stubborn. And you and you got your mind on somebody to to bring harm to them. Even in your heart, you become a murderer. Okay, uh, but there is literally a person though that is doing literal spells on people because we're dealing with the occult. Okay, we really are because there was a judgment for sacrificing children. They put their children to the fire. They're seared. They will never be forgiven by the great divine. It's over for those people. They don't care. They're dangerous. They need to get out of freaking society. The whole group needs to be put in in a, in some place and be just boom, just just catch them on fire. I don't care what you do with them. Put them in prison until they go into the true eternal fire. These people need to get out. Don't hurt the baby. So there's a knife and it is this is the card that came out that was pushed through somebody because they're just coots they would never get up on their altars to do that and say oh I'm the ultimate sacrifice today they would never do ask them Jehovah's plans are to prosper you and not to harm you and to give you a future and a hope not to, for this crap uh, something out of state here is involved or somebody out of state or you live out of state from somebody or some, somebody traveled somewhere and something happened. Somebody was forced to do something and somebody that's connected to a black leather jacket uh, connection or somebody's known to wear a black leather jacket or something like that. Look, people, if somebody thinks that they're going to force you to kill somebody, something's wrong. Okay? Uh, if somebody obviously took a bribe to do something but didn't pay off, did it? Then so you're still guilty. If somebody forced you to do something, that you're still guilty. Okay, who forced you? Uh, why didn't you go to the authorities? I, I don't, I don't really know. But anyway, there's toys. There's children here. Yes, there is. And Jehovah says that um, 
somebody in the connection is protected and he's going to deliver somebody. So whatever that was, I mean, obviously if you've got authority over you that's in the government or something like that that's been involved that did force something like that, then let Jehovah be the great judge. Let Jehovah be the great judge. Um, I personally believe that there's fine lines to everything depending on what the crap's happened. All right, but it's still somebody got murdered. Somebody should have went somewhere. I don't care who the, but they are. Envy not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. For the forward is an abomination to Jehovah. But his secret is with the righteous. And we do have the house of Jacob here, which holds the Torah where we get our faith. And the, and the, the secret is with the righteous. Okay, we do know how to escape from all this crap because Jehovah's going to. Well, we got greed. We have the greed card here. Somebody has been greedy with you or you've been greedy with somebody else. And that's going to be true either way, depending on what your character is. And Zion shall be redeemed with judgment. This has come out a couple of times. And her converts with righteousness and the destruction of the wicked transgressors and the sinners shall be together. Like I said, lay Jehovah, put them together and do with them what he needs to. And they that forsake Jehovah, they shall be consumed. And they're going to be consumed because he says a fire goes before me and it burns up all my enemies and they're going to get consumed. They won't put their children through the fire. Well, let's see how these bastard children uh, that are in the earth doing this. How it feels to them for the ultimate sacrifice of their demon gods that they're listening to. They're nasty. Show me energy for Sagittarius. Those of you who have been through some real hard crap, you will get justice. You will get justice. There's prison here for some kook idiot group. Show me um, Sagittarius. So the, this is my FBI card. This is treacherous energy with the fox. The fox vibration is 666. Somebody's got the mark of the beast. And we already seen the snake that came out. That is the beast that was cursed above all else. We live in prophecy. This is a prophecy card. This is a very spiritual card here. And we are in prophecy. And we are dealing with people who are literally, they're just, they're just crazy. Because they can't think anymore. They don't have no soul in them anymore, people. They just don't. They need to be put out. Um, there's a school or something to do with that, that a, a connection to a school or this is a teacher energy here. Your energy also can go back to a teacher. There's some type of a connection there. Um, but this is real cutting work. But this is my FBI card. And those who are in the upright law enforcement, thank you for your service. And uh, they have to be just as cunning in an upright fashion to get these nasties out of the earth. Show me Sagittarius energy. So there is a bouquet and gifts and things like that. Some people have been taken from people in a very bad way and really been put out in a very bad way from these idiots. And then they've taken what was yours and let you just have just a penny here or there. And yet they've been just like, look at, look at, look at my house. Ha, let's go out to eat. And it's somebody else's money and what they did. And this is kooks for what they did to somebody or you did that to somebody. Uh, the mice. Yes, they stole. They did steal. They did. And Jehovah, when he brought this uh, card out, there's the tower. Well, there's there's a disaster. I mean, the tower is here twice. Something's very much known in a very big way. There's government around something. And um, anyway, Jehovah's government's being set up. But when this um, mice card came out in another reading, uh, Jehovah brought out in wording those who trap will be trapped. Let me just give a, a personal uh, testimony here. And I got it somewhere on video. Uh, a few years back when this crap started with me, Sagittarius, because my son is in Sagittarius. And um, I was walking at the park because Jehovah told me to heal myself. And so I began to just go within and uh, pull down pain and stuff like that. Let Jehovah heal my body. And I came back and I had started my YouTube channel. And uh, I had heard of my spirit that those who trap shall be trapped. At that time, I didn't realize what was going on, really. And um, it, it's time. They are trapped. These these nasty idiots are finally trapped, and you hope it's going to burn them up and all of that. And it's known that they're going to their their time is up. The devil and his angels' times are up. We got the, the tower twice. It's like boom, 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 boom. It's going to be huge, just like that. And that's exactly how I feel in my spirit going off. And you hope it's going to take care of these nasties because what they've done is a freaking disgrace in his earth. Okay. So if you're in the upright, you will get justice. If you're on the side of those nasty, well, we're going to get justice against you. And boom, boom, you're coming down. You're going to get your eye poked out for what you did to the great divine's children.